Are there any considerations that go into where you, you know, what you're putting outside of the quantum computer and the classical computers and what it actually is all going to look like wrapped up together? The other thing we've been playing with a lot lately, though, that's really fun is what happens if you take a quantum computer and a supercomputer and you use them together. Because at the end of the day, it, you usually have a problem where the quantum math isn't everything, that there's also a lot of classical math. And so it really seems natural to explore finding ways of dividing up the problem into the quantum part and the classical part. And we're, we don't really know the details of how to do this perfectly yet, but it's a really fun research area. In such a world, the quantum computer might sit next to a classical computer that's tasked with doing some of that stuff, right? Exactly. The classical computer holds the program for the quantum computer. If you use one of our quantum computers, you can do it over the internet from your laptop. And what you're really doing is sending a program to a classical computer in our building that lives right next to the quantum computer that controls it and gives you the answers back.